Shout out to Omaha Steaks for sponsoring this update. If you can't tell from how crazy hot it is outside, summer is officially underway, and you know what that means, summer cookouts. If you wanna upgrade your summer cookouts, Omaha Steaks can help you go pro with a limited time offer of their summer sensation package for only $49.99, which is 80% off, and that means so much more money for video games. To get it, visit omahasteaks.com and enter promo code THE NO in the search bar. Welcome to The Know, I'm Mika Burton. There has been speculation that Sony could be releasing a PlayStation 5 as soon as next year by different analysts and experts around the industry, but now Sony seems to be indicating that the PS5 is real as well. In an interview with German outlet Gollum.de, PlayStation boss Sean Layden was asked if the PS4 Pro is an indication that Sony is ditching the generational model altogether, and specifically asked if they would be making a PlayStation 5. Layden replied in the affirmative and stated that the PS4 Pro is just a mid-generation refresh to take advantage of 4K. So there we have it, folks. The PS5 is basically confirmed by Sony. Now, as for when we'll see it, Layden said that it wouldn't happen for some time. Sometime as in the next couple of years, or are we talking Kingdom Hearts timeline here, or worse, Valve time? So never? Bye, PS5. And speaking of Kingdom Hearts and things that never happen, one of the big surprises from E3 last week was that we actually got a real, live, touchable, watchable Kingdom Hearts 3 trailer after, you know, many fans, me, didn't think it was going to be making any appearance at all at the show. But what's even better than one trailer this summer? Two. Two whole trailers, which is because we're getting two whole trailers and Kingdom Hearts 3 will be getting the second one next month at D23, which is the big Disney huge event. And this is according to director Tetsuya Nomura. And Nomura confirmed the next trailer in an interview with Famitsu, saying it should be longer than the trailer we just got. Plus, there will be English and Japanese versions, which slight differences in the content between them because we all know that Maleficent in Japanese is weird and unnerving, yet powerful. So powerful. The D23 Expo and the new trailer will be happening July 14th through 16th and will be packed with so much good Disney content, I cannot wait. Still on the topic of games we've been waiting on for forever, Beyond Good and Evil 2's surprise E3 trailer didn't show us much in terms of what to expect from its gameplay, but Ubisoft and creator Michael Ancel did reveal the game behind closed doors. Now Ubisoft has made that demonstration public for fans on YouTube. The tech demo reveals some of the game's ambitious mechanics, most notably around space travel and flying on jetpacks. They also confirmed that this will be a prequel set long before the original game. The video doesn't give away too much, but if it does show one thing, it's the scale of this game is going to be massive compared to the first, and probably something we won't see for a long time as a result. The creator of Gran Turismo is pretty meh about the PlayStation VR headset. In an interview with GamesBeat, Kazunari Yamauchi talked about the latest version of his game as well as the history of VR. When he was asked if he's happy with PlayStation VR, he responded, I'd hoped it would be something more incredible than it is today, but we've done the best we can with what's currently available. Ouch, that's the kind of thing you say when you turn in a test that you did study for. Like, hey, I did my best, please don't fail me. Man, I'm I so used to saying that in college. Nintendo's Switch stock situation has reached the point of just absolute laughability, with Nintendo dropping an official apology this week over shortages. Meanwhile, critics still insist that Nintendo is being lazy with the supply on purpose in order to create more demand. Well, now Nintendo is refuting that claim pretty directly. Speaking with Ars Technica, Nintendo's senior director of corporate communications, Charlie Sabetta, pushed back on the idea of the purposeful shortage, saying, it's definitely not intentional in terms of sorting the market. We're making it as fast as we can. We want to get as many units out as we can to support all the software that's coming out right now. Our job really is to get it out as quick as we can, especially for this holiday, because we want to have units on our shelves to support Super Mario Odyssey. So there you have it, folks. Not intentional, but, but still shitty. It looks like Netflix is going choose your own adventure with some new interactive shows. The first so-called narrative episodes is called Puss in Boots, Trapped in an Epic Tale. That's an interactive video where viewers can use their remote or iOS device to decide how the story plays out. Netflix says it's starting with kids shows and more are on the way, but it's possible that other properties could follow. Hopefully, like in Choose Your Own Adventure books, you can quickly back up if you get your character killed or do something stupid or, you know, just want to unlock all the endings. Be a completionist.
We are learning which other characters might appear in Sony's new Spider-Verse, which is kicking off next month with Spider-Man Homecoming. The Hollywood Reporter says that we can expect to see the villain Carnage in the upcoming Venom film. And more standalone projects are planned that will include two more infamous Spider-Man villains, Kraven the Hunter and Mysterio. Oh, and Tom Holland's Peter Parker will continue to appear in Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, and apparently an unnamed Avenger will appear in the sequel to Homecoming. So unlike the X-Men, it looks like Spider-Man has learned how to play nice with Marvel. Marvel. The ongoing voice actor strike is affecting the casting of some upcoming games. Sadly, Claire Redfield's voice actress will not be reprising her role for the Resident Evil 2 remake. Same goes for Leon Kennedy's voice actor, who will probably also be recast. The reason is that the original actors, Allison Court and Matt Mercer, are striking in solidarity with US Union actors who are seeking better compensation. Meanwhile, it doesn't look like Ashley Birch will reprise her role as Chloe Price in upcoming Life is Strange prequel, also because of the strike. Hopefully this dispute can be resolved because it's never as good without the originals. Also, what of the McCree voice lines? If there's one thing that gamers hate, it's, it's price hikes. Especially price hikes that occur out of the blue. Game developer Paradox Interactive learned this the hard way when it raised the price of several of its games in various regions on Steam, including Brazil, Canada, Japan, and the United Kingdom. According to Paradox, the price hikes were to match the purchasing power of those areas, as well as to create more of an equal price point for their products around the world. Needless to say, fans were not happy and they immediately started downvoting Paradox games and angrily contacting the company. Paradox finally backed down and said they'll issue refunds and will clearly communicate any price changes in the future. So good job, Paradox. Now get back to making good strategy games instead of making bad business decisions. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds continues to gain steam on well, Steam, the smash hit Battle Royale game, has hit another milestone this week with creator Brendan Green announcing on Twitter, three months, four million copies of at PU Battleground sold. Thank you all again for your continuing support. Less than three. Considering the game's momentum, those crazy sales numbers don't seem like they'll be slowing down anytime soon, and they might get even better because Bluehole released a statement today indicating that Battlegrounds may not be completely Xbox exclusive after all, despite the Express's report from earlier this week. In a new statement to Game Informer, Bluehole wrote, We are excited to announce that Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is coming to Xbox One. We're also looking at various platforms to potentially introduce our game, but have nothing further to announce at this time. So that's nice and Super specific of you, but maybe PS4 fans will have hope after all, and Gus will have even more platforms to play his beloved game on. So that about does it for our final news roundup of this week. Let us know what you thought about any of these stories in the comments down below, and for more updates from every teeny tiny corner of the internet, except that one dark corner over there, it's kind of scary, remember to like this video, and if you're new around here, subscribe to The Know. Maybe one day we'll get to that scary corner, and you'll hear about it. Thanks to Omaha Steaks for sponsoring this update. Upgrade your summer cookouts with Omaha Steaks where you can get the limited time summer sensation package for just $49.99, which is 80% off the original price. The pack includes a ton of stuffs. It's two filet mignons, two top sirloins, four boneless pork chops, four crispy chicken fried steaks, 12 ounces of meatballs, four burgers, four gourmet jumbo franks, a freaking pound of fries, four caramel apple tartlets, seasoning, and four additional burgers at no extra cost, which is a crap ton of food for just $50. So just visit omahasteaks.com and use promo code THENO, it's all one word, in the search bar and bring up the deals. We got one of these here and we loved it. It was just, it was so much food, so we all got to take some home and we were just fighting over the meat and we're all gonna have cookouts and it's, it's gonna be great.